Lou and the Lessox's ex-husband Tom D'Agostino saddened by her recent arrest. She was arrested just days before Christmas in Palm Beach, Florida for allegedly kicking a police officer while intoxicated. And Lou and the Lessox's ex-husband Tom D'Agostino feels really sad for his former spouse, 52, but was also shocked to learn she was even in Palm Beach, the city she has no ties to, according to sources from a New People report. The source told the publication that D'Agostino, 50, felt really sad for Luann and her family that they had to go through this over the holidays. De Lesseps X was also apparently unaware the Real Housewives of New York star was even in Palm Beach, the same city where they tied the knot, nearly one year ago. D'Agostino, who has a home and office in Palm Beach, was in the city over the weekend with his new girlfriend, Anna Rothschild. De Lesseps and D'Agostino are now divorced after tying the knot in Palm Beach on New Year's Eve last year. The couple's glamorous nuptials were even featured on an episode of her reality series, The Real Housewives of New York. And sources have revealed to people that De Lesseps' rest will be integrated into the storyline of the upcoming season of Roni, even though no cameras were present as filming was on a holiday break. It's reality. They follow their real lives, the source told people. So if this is happening while filming is happening, they're going to talk about it. They didn't shy away from Tinsley's rest. They didn't shy away from Bethany's court drama. The report filed by the Palm Beach Police Department confirms T. Lassops was a registered guest Saturday night at the Colony, the landmark hotel known for its well-heeled clientele with rooms costing upwards of $446 per night. She was staying in room 327 but when she and her male companion left the polo bar together they headed to the wrong floor and entered room 407 as a maid was cleaning. The man split after security guard Carlos Lopez found the pair in bed but a highly intoxicated de Lassops refused to budge and copes were called, according to the report by officer Robert Mastrangelo. When an officer O'Leary eventually opened the bathroom door she shoved officer O'Leary with an open palm to the chest then slammed the door on Officer O'Leary's face, striking him in the forehead. She resisted again as Officer O'Leary placed her in handcuffs, managing somehow to slip out of the shackles once she was in the patrol car. De Lesseps then attempted to exit the vehicle, according to the report, kicking and fending off the officers as they tried to cuff her again, while telling Mastrandolo, I'm going to F asterisk 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 and kill you. As she arrived at the police station she repeated her threat, telling officers she was going to f asterisk 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 and kill you all, it says. The disheveled de Lassops appeared at the Palm Beach Courthouse at 9 a.m. on Christmas Eve, having spent eight hours in custody before she was released without bond. She will be back in court next month to face four felony charges and one misdemeanor, battery on a law enforcement officer, disorderly intoxication, resisting an officer with violence and two counts of corruption by threat. The two most serious charges, battery on a law enforcement officer and resisting arrest, are considered third-degree felonies, each punishable by a maximum of five years in prison and a $5,000 fine. A few hours after her court appearance, De Lesseps addressed her arrest on Twitter, writing, I want to offer my most sincere apologies to anyone that I might have offended with my behavior. This was my first time in Palm Beach since my wedding and being here brought up buried emotions. I am committed to a transformative and hopeful 2018.